Hello viewers, welcome to my channel. This is uh, another video for data management in Microsoft Excel. Today's topic is adding form data form and basic data validation. Data entry is definitely not a difficult part of working with Excel. We all be, have been there and the process can be frustrating and error promoting. When we add new data, we'll have to select the cell in the next empty row and then go cell by cell to make the entry on each column. Moving between columns and rows, typing and pasting, it's commonly actually time consuming and frustrating. However, this is the vital part for the data management process. An efficient way to make data entry by using a data form, basically a dialog box uh, that we can use to enter, search, edit and delete, but there is no option for data entry. In order to use form, we need to go actually to go the uh, quick access toolbar. To do this, right click on any of these existing icon in the quick access toolbar select the option to customize it in choose commands from option select all commands the drop down and scroll down the list until you find form click on the add button and then ok after th this process you will see a new icon in your quick access toolbar and quick, uh, click on any cell in your table and then click uh, form icon it's a very simple form nothing it's a fancy but it simplifies the entry process of data and default the entry form launches with the data of your first account. By clicking new, it cleans the fields to allow you to create a new record for example. Let's add a new one. Ok, once done, I simply press enter and you can see that it's added in the table. Well, other functions is delete as you can imagine it will uh, erase a record so here I will delete the record I just made restore while you are editing an existing entry you can restore the previous data in the form as long as you haven't press enter or close the form find previous and find next uh, will help you the find other records in your table Criteria allows you to find a specific record using the existing fields in the table. You can use the scroll bar to go through the records and click close to a turn of the form. Now another of the benefit of using forms is that we can add validation, data validation to any of your, uh, your fields. It will also apply to it to the forms let's say for example that for quantity. I want to make sure that uh, only numbers can be entered here and I select the data in the field I want to go uh, I want to go to the data tab and activate data validation we'll go into more details in data validation in the next lesson for this only we only want to accept numerical entries we'll uh, need to use custom validation rule and formula so I will select custom formula from the list and in the formula field I will add equals and then the is number functions using and G2 is, as, is the topmost cell of the field we want to use. Prepare the input message to notify the user that they need to use numerical values only and we also write an error alert when a user enters anything other than numbers okay now click ok let's open the form again again and try the validation so i'll try to create a new record i need a quantity field i'll enter some text to see if uh, excel uh, complain and you can see here it showed error message
Additional advantage of the Excel form is that you can use it in existing large data sets to search for records. For example, here I have a large data set with a sales information. I already have the form icon in the quick access toolbar. I simply select a cell in the range and click form. Now I am able to quickly look for values. I have set the values for 1000 greater than 1000 in sales. We find it simply click enter. So this is how you can use the Excel entry form to enter data or the to manage existing data. Although this is a basic form but uh, we will go deeper in the next session for data validation so this is the one important step to try and control the quality of the data in uh, excel see you in my next video please like subscribe my channel and if you have any issue you can comment in the below video